Hey there everybody and welcome back to another completely random video tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be walking you through the basics of hosting a web app. This particular web app that I've built which I'll walk you through in a little bit was actually created using AppGyver. I have tons of tutorials on my channel so feel free to check those out and check out the additional links in the description. But basically I made this app for free without any coding whatsoever and now we're going to be hosting it online. So before we get started it wouldn't be a YouTube video if I didn't ask you to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Okay, so jumping straight in, we've already made the app in AppGyver. I'm going to have a separate video, which I'll link in the description. Actually, tons of different resources, but you can check out my channel if you want to learn more about making this specific application itself. But basically, in AppGyver, I've gone to Launch, Distribute, Open Build Services, and then at this point, I have basically just gone through the Configure and Build tabs to build the web app. I've downloaded this application and it's downloaded a zip file which I have placed on my desktop. So now we're going to walk through the basics of hosting using Hostinger. Now I've tried to find a couple of different websites to host files but honestly it's been a little bit difficult to find and compare different pricing and plans. Typically a lot of the do-it-yourself websites tend to be a little cheaper. However, if you want to use some of the other videos, for example I have one that just allows you to upload a just a straight zip file online and it does all the work for you, but it is a little bit pricier. So I'm going to be looking at Hostinger. So the pricing may be different since I signed up on a promotion or a deal, but what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be walking you through migrating these files or basically transferring them in. So I will have this specific tutorial in the description. I'm not affiliated with this company at all. Just wanted to walk through the basics with you. So we're going to skip past this and we are going to go to the choose website upload method. So basically you have a couple of options, your file manager or your FTP option. I can use the file manager because my web app is actually pretty small. I think it's like 15 megabytes or less. But basically what you're doing is you're going to be transferring all this data in and then configuring everything from there. So we will scroll up to option two and we're going to walk through this so i signed up and created my account already entered in my payment information and this is the next screen you get to so you have tons of different plans on hostinger so we can walk through those right now so what we may have to do since it's going to find my actual account we will go in an incognito window so it doesn't pick up my account and just cover pricing really really quickly so um, when you log in initially, let's just go to the actual website itself. Now, again, these prices could change. They're running a promo right now. But basically, when you click on hosting, I went to web hosting because I really don't need anything too um, intense, so to speak. So you'll see we have this $2.99 a month plan, which is actually, I believe, the one that I signed up for. But you can see the different options. So the reason I went with the $2.99 is primarily because of the cloud or not the cloud sorry the free domain it doesn't save you a ton of money but i just want them to kind of manage everything for me and then the other thing to notice is that they do have a couple of other benefits so you have a couple of other uh, technical benefits including subdomains ftp accounts things of that nature which just was going to work a little bit better for me and the biggest thing is it allows for 100 websites more visits monthly and free email so uh, the unlimited bandwidth and databases are just an added benefit so i selected this account now we'll jump back in so you'll see right here we have pending setup so we have the free domain which we can claim here i'll do that separately and then we have the premium shared hosting so this is basically right where we land in so we are going to go ahead and click setup and then looks like they're going to send us through this i'm going to skip now we will go to build a website <clears throat> and we're going to choose other cms and then you have tons of different options so if i'm not mistaken in this article here they are recommending let's see file managers so there's a couple of different choices for ftp they actually use or give you a couple of options so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through 
I'm actually going to skip and start from scratch. However, if you are interested in that step, you can go to essentially choose whatever FTP option you're interested in. And you can see they show you in this help article here how you can get that set up. It's literally just in your settings. So we are going to try to find this automatic web importer, but first we need to claim our free domain. So the one that I was thinking of, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I've already checked availability. So it is for this app, which is basically going to be diabetic resources. So it should be calculatingdiabetes.com. If I'm not mistaken, this is available. I checked through a couple of other options and you can see right there it is. So we are going to click continue. You'll see chosen server location. We are in North America. Um, that works for me. And we will click finish setup. So we have claimed that URL. And then we will just click company next steps and we will go ahead and enter contact details. I'll pause the video here, move through this and then pick it back up. All right, so after filling all of that out, you'll see that we get dropped into this little dashboard right here. And you'll see we can either view the website, which obviously we have nothing, or we can go to the control panel, which is what we're going to do next. So we will drop into this control panel here. And then basically we have options to manage all of our information. So we have the emails, subdomains, domains, uh, pretty much all of that stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the file manager. So I don't know what's the difference between the beta and the regular one, but you'll see we have the automatic website importer. So we will see if that's in here anywhere. So what we will do is you'll see in the instructions here, you can import websites within the H panel. So that's basically where we are. I'm assuming that's just the hosting panel. So what we are going to do is we will control F and type in import. And then you'll see we can import our website here. You'll see the website preview and then we are going to upload our websites. So we're just going to click choose file and we are going to go to desktop and this is the AppGyver bundle and we're going to click import and now it's going to begin that process. Now again, the maximum allowed size is 256 megabytes. Uh, my understanding, if you want to use those FTP options, it's just going to give you a safe and secure way to transfer larger files. So you can get more, uh, for example, if you have a one, two, three plus gig site or application that you want to run. So we're going to let this run and we will look at what next steps are. So we have uploaded our website files and they do allow you to use FileZilla, which is well known. And then using File Manager, you'll see that we're going to navigate there next. All right, everybody. So I paused the video and I looked around a little bit and I think I figured out where some of my confusion was coming from. So it looks like everything that I just did to upload the zip file using the file manager worked. So it works with one website. With others, I'm not sure how you would essentially have to have those set up or managed. But as you can see, I'm screen mirroring my phone on the right hand side. And I'm just at the calculatingdiabetes.com URL that we were purchasing and walking through the steps for in this video. You'll see everything is actually loading as expected. You're able to interact with it uh, essentially as you would need to. So it's loading everything as I was expecting it would. So that's basically everything that there is to that. Now I'm going to end up removing this navigation bar and making some additional changes, but I do want to show you some of the confusion. So when you go to the file manager in Hostinger, And once it loads, you'll see from the help article, which will be linked in the description, when you double click this public HTML folder, it shows that it's not found. However, when we go to the file manager, which is a beta, I'm assuming it's just a beta version of a new file manager, it will show only a public HTML file. And when we double click this, you'll see all of the content of the actual zip folder that was uploaded from AppGyver. So I'll show you that folder in a second, but you'll see this is the fave icon. I believe that was up, what was up here. I was saying I was going to change earlier, but you'll see all of the pages and content. And for context, I'll open this up using WinRAR, and you'll see that right here we basically have all of that content loaded. So 
everything that was in the zip folder is being displayed there and it's letting us navigate between the pages without needing to make any changes to the website itself. So I hope that helped and if you have any questions drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.